Hello, greetings everyone. My name is Tony Mannister and I'm the head of research at Cross-Border Research Association. I'm going to present to you an overview of one of our past projects known as Profile. Profile stands for Innovative Data Analytics, Data Sources and Architecture for European Customs Risk Management. Throughout this presentation, we will be focusing on the introduction of the Profile project and some of its key results. Let's begin with the key details of the project. Our goal was clear, to develop data analytics and leverage new data sources for customs risk management. We partnered with a total of 14 organizations across eight European countries. Notably, among them were five customs practitioners representing Sweden, Norway, Belgium, the Netherlands and Estonia. The project lasted for a duration of three and a half years and it was funded by the European Commission through the Horizon 2020 program. The project budget was around 5 million euros. Let's continue with the technical building blocks of Profile. We studied a set of advanced data analytics techniques for customs risk assessment, ranging from machine learning and graph-based analysis to natural language processing and deep reinforcement learning. In addition, we explored the significance of various datasets for customs risk assessment. While some data, such as declaration information, was already available within customs, we also acquired access into external sources of data for additional insights, as illustrated on the next slide. Profile extensively investigated the value of several external datasets for customs risk assessment. We acquired datasets from industry platforms like Intra and TradeLens, gaining valuable insights into global trade. We studied databases from Orbis and Dun and Bradstreet, renowned global providers of company and commercial information. We analyzed import and export data analytic services, such as Datasur, to enhance our understanding of trade patterns and trends. We leveraged databases from the BIC on shipping containers and the postcode of the Universal Postal Union to cross-check data elements of customs declarations ensuring accuracy and completeness. We collaborated with movement tracking services like EC to monitor and analyze shipment movements, enabling proactive risk management. And finally, we explored e-commerce platforms such as eBay for relevant data to facilitate fiscal clearance processes. Now, let's take a look at two significant datasets studied in profile which provided valuable insights into container movements and logistics operations, enhancing customs visibility on global supply chain data. From Intra, a leading global container booking platform, we obtained three essential datasets for our research. Container bookings, shipping instructions and track and trace. From TradeLens, another prominent global supply chain visibility platform, we acquired a comprehensive set of bills of lading datasets and track and trace information. In Profile, we used these datasets to enrich the data already available to customs at various stages of customs risk assessment. For instance, during the pre-departure risk assessment stage, when containers are not yet loaded onto EU-bound vessels, customs typically have entry summary declarations at their disposal. However, by leveraging datasets from Intra, customs could, could access additional information such as container bookings and shipping instructions. These datasets not only allowed customs to cross-check data elements of entry summary declarations, but also provided access to entirely new datasets. This enhanced data enrichment process enabled customs to make more informed decisions in customs risk assessment. Here are some key findings from the analysis of the Intra and TradeLens datasets. First, we successfully enriched 4,600 entry summary declarations messages with missing commodity codes using Intra shipping instructions. This accounted for 6% of the ENS records analyzed in the project, demonstrating the significant impact of leveraging external datasets for data enrichment. Additionally, we analyzed container tracking events from Intra and TradeLens to identify inconsistencies between the two datasets for the same events, such as gate out and loading. 
These findings hold significant implications for understanding the benefits and limitations of different datasets for customs risk assessment. They provide valuable insights into the effectiveness of leveraging external datasets to enrich customs data, highlighting both successes and areas for improvement. This presentation provides just a glimpse into the extensive work and results achieved in Profile. If you are interested in learning more about our project and its findings, please contact me via email. Thank you for your interest and attention.